My name is Samir Malik and I do contemporary Islamic calligraphy. Just over 10 years ago I was in Damascus. I took a year off to go and live there and just relax a little bit and um, I enrolled at the university and I enrolled in a calligraphy course and I loved it so much that I thought this is what I want to do for the rest of my life. I also do a lot of photography so I, I, you know, I've started in the last year and uh, I've done you know, portraits and concerts and little things. The way I understand it, it means writing with light because when you, when, you, when you photograph something, be it digitally or with film, you're actually recording the light that's falling around you in a certain way and try and capture that. And with calligraphy, you try and capture something as well that's, that's fleeting but very, very important, very, very fundamental. And so there's very many parallels between photography and calligraphy, in, in my opinion. So when I work with students, um, usually about maybe eight hours allows them to get the fundamentals right, the basics. And from there, they can start exploring and playing. And so, yeah, maybe a, a, a day's work. My faith influences everything. The way I see the world, the way I experience the world, the way I relate to the world. And my creativity is like, it's an attempt to express that, to understand it for myself and to share that. I feel very privileged because I believe that every human being is born in the world with a gift for the world. So a client called me up and he wanted, um, in, in Istanbul, they, in, the, in the mosque they have, in the Hagia Sophia, they have these beautiful big plaques with the uh, calligraphy, the Luth calligraphy, with the names of the, the you know, different people and Muhammad Sallallahu And he wanted something with Isa al-Islam and uh, the Imam Mehdi. First I actually you know, got all the text right, and then I actually, using um, yeah, bamboos and ink, I actually wrote it all out, scanned it all in, and then uh, played around with it to make it you know, beautiful and to make it work, to give it some kind of um, artistic flair, as you, know, you could say, to um, say so it looks nice. So I uh, worked on it for about three weeks uh, with constant updates from the client, and we finally got these uh, three pieces. The gentleman's gonna give it to a metal worker who's gonna actually make large plaques of it to go inside his home. When you create a piece of art, and you want to make it authentic and real, all the experience of your entire life goes into that one single moment when you create that piece of art. Looking at this, this piece, the whole preparation took maybe about two or three hours, getting all the ink right, getting all the you know, consistency right, getting all the pens prepared. Doing it took maybe about two minutes. So th that was the pen I used, well, was, I call it a pen. And um, so I've cut that myself out of wood. I had all the ink there. And so I, I kind of dipped it and dipped it and dipped it until all the different colors were uh, actually, you know, laying on there. And then I just took a breath in, thought about what it means for me, peace. What does Salaam mean? You know, we use it every day. Millions of people around the world use it every single day. What does it really, really mean? What are we saying when we say Salaam? And then I just did that. worked with the, an author, a Libyan author who's been in exile, hasn't been back to Libya for at least 13 years. His latest novel, um, Fire in the House of Crocodiles, was about Gaddafi. And he wanted something that had Gaddafi in it, but was like, would appeal to the younger generation, to the contemporary crowd, you could say. And this is what we came up with. This is what he's really happy with. And he's flying to Libya tomorrow. Uh, and it's going to get published. So it's so exciting. It's like um, it's uh, being chosen to to represent something that that or to create something that represents a big change in somebody's life, and that will reach, inshallah, you know, hundreds of thousands of different people around the Arab world. Find what what makes you feel alive. What what brings you joy and what makes you feel 
full of life and just pursue that. Sometimes it takes a long time and it's not always easy, but life's not always easy anyway. But uh, I just encourage people to just really find what's your gift and live that and share that. And yeah, maybe inshallah you'll also be happy like I am.